okay once you have understood few then you can take on options but when you start learning options what is it that you must look out for or what is the chronology or the sequence in which we should learn options first you must try and understand the literal meaning of the word option it is a simple word look for it in a dictionary or search on the google try and understand the meaning of this word meaning of this english word options then think over why should there be options in the stock market once you understand the literal meaning of this word then you will be able to think and question yourself as to why should there be options in the stock market i can say with quite a certainty that a large number of people who trade in options do not even know the meaning of that word in context of what they are doing then you should get to know the difference between calls and puts call option and put option what is the difference between between buying calls and selling calls what is buying puts and selling puts never try to mug up or even look at the definition of these things definition of options calls and puts i have never seen a definition more complicated in my life than the definitions of options the call options and the put options so i never try to teach the definition of these words try to understand the meaning the theory and the context of these words why they are used where they are used how they are used forget about their definitions then try to understand the concept of trading in option what is it why do people trade in options were the options really meant for trading or were they meant for some other purpose and people have started trading in it try and find answers to these questions thereafter you should try and understand what is an option chain when you look at the screen of your monitor or when you are trading on your platform try to find out the meaning of the option chain what is it what is its relevance then what is the strike price why are there many strike prices when you want to purchase an option of one particular thing or one particular stock then you will find there are tens of you know options available to you why are there so many options then what is the significance of the strike price what is the time value and the intrinsic value of the options first of all try and understand what is time value and what is intrinsic intrinsic value and then what is the relevance in option what is the significance or the practical aspect of time value and the intrinsic value what is the meaning and the significance of these words at the money out of the money in the money all these things in context of all and put options what do they mean then when does an option start making money for you and when does it become zero this you should try and understand search the net find answers for these things try to understand the profit and loss in a call option and a put option these two are opposite things profit and loss in a call option and profit and loss in a put option are entirely different how are they different try and find answers to that then what are the choices available to an option trader if you want to be an option trader then what are the choices available to you what is an option premium why is an option buyer required to pay a premium and why does the option seller take the premium then learn how you can do hedging with options what is the risk involved in buying and selling options and what is the risk in selling an option especially you see when you try to learn options you will find that buying an option has got a very very limited risk a very limited loss and selling an option has got unlimited risk if you sustain a loss by selling an option your loss could be unlimited so why is that people are selling options if it is so clear that buying has got very limited risk and selling has got unlimited risk 
then why are people selling in fact buying and selling will happen only when there are equal number of those two people people who want to buy and people who want to sell who are the people who want to buy options and who are the people who want to sell options try and understand that then can you use futures and options in combination in fact futures and options are meant to be used in combination though you are studying them separately but ultimately you will realize that they have to be used in combination how and why why do small traders generally buy options and big players generally sell options it is an interesting question it is not you know a rule of law or a thumb rule that small traders should always buy option and large players should sell option it is never written like that but when you look in the environment when you see you will always find that small traders are generally buying options and big players are generally selling options though selling involves unlimited risk and buying involves very limited risk and unlimited profit it sounds very good but it is not as simple as that if selling options involves unlimited risk then what is the logic in selling options why do big players sell options then once you are done with all these things then try to find out what are option greeks what is their relevance what is implied volatility what is the relevance of option greeks when you are trading options then try to understand the meaning and the relevance of these greeks delta gamma theta vega what are these there is one more greek which is called as rho r o e i have not mentioned it here because i don't consider that to be very important you can overlook that but these four greeks you must know and a word of caution never try to mug up the definition of these greeks you may just read the definition once and then try to understand the theory and the meaning and the relevance of these things rather than mugging up the definition when you are sitting in front of your screen to trade nobody is going to ask you the definition of the things once you understand these things you will be able to take appropriate decisions and then towards the end one more time i would like to caution you that when you are trading in derivatives be it futures or options do not trade with real money unless you are fully confident and when you are trading in options never sell options unless you have covered your trade never 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 speculate when you are trading in options do not try to gamble these are not gambling tools they are scientifically designed financial instruments make a proper use of them do not make them a gambling tool that is all what i have to say about the derivatives all right